Hey guys, Observation King here with my second video on triops. And uh, as you're looking at the tank, you might actually see that I've already done all the process that's needing that's needed, sorry, to be done to actually hatch these creatures. So uh, because of my circumstances, I can't really film and show at the same time. So what? But what I can do is uh, do the process and then explain and show you uh, what I did. So here, what I started off doing is I put the sand at the bottom here in my main tank. And that's not going to be much of any use for now. But when they're older, they'll already have the sand there. And I, when I move them in the main tank, they can then lay their eggs in that. Then after what I did, I just simply filled up my tank because it's a 35 litre tank to about three quarters of the way. Uh, not too much. And I got myself some demineralized water. Uh, you could also use distilled, but I use demineralized water and I put it in a small Tupperware container over here And I added the eggs with this that that were in the sand that you can see at the bottom and a few pieces of carrot to help them grow now um, I'd made a little bit of a mistake, but it wasn't done on purpose If you look closely at the surface of the water, I don't know if you can see that very well but there is a lot of triops eggs on the surface. Now we want that, but the problem is I put a little bit too much. Because what I did is that I put the uh, eggs in the sand on a piece of A4 paper and I used a magnifying glass to see how many eggs were, were on the paper, just to see roughly how much I'm dealing with. But what happened is that the sand covered most of the eggs and I could only see a few. So I added a bit more and then I just poured it into the water and then it turned out that I've got roughly about 50 eggs, five zero floating on top now. So uh, that is a lot of eggs. Usually one batch one batch to hatch uh, them off is probably about 15 to 20 eggs, but I used a lot more than that. But hopefully that mistake won't jeopardize the, um, the project because it's just a few more eggs. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. And over here, you might notice I'm using a thermometer and an aquarium heater. Now, uh, this aquarium heater, I've got it at about 26 degrees Celsius right now. And on the thermometer, which you might be able to see, is it going to focus? Okay, it's not focusing, but that reads, currently, that reads 17 degrees Celsius, so we're getting there. Uh, and that's it, so that's basically what I did. I simply filled the tank with some tap water, I then put the container, the Tupperware container, into the water. I added the aquarium heater with the... Um, uh, I forgot the name of this, the thermometer. I added the mineralized water in this Tupperware container. I did the eggs with a bit of carrot. And since my aquarium has a light at the top there, that's not a problem for me. They've got light, they've got heat, they've got water. So that's what I did. So hopefully in uh, about 24 hours or so, maybe a bit longer, because some of them take some time to hatch, I will have some little baby trout swimming around. So yeah, I just need that to hit 24 degrees or 23 degrees Celsius and they should hatch faster. So thanks for watching my video guys, that's basically what I done. If you have any questions, you can comment uh, below in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer you. All right, thanks for watching, see you later.